Is it fun? Fun. Fun. <laughs> After me. Ready? Happy. 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 New. 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 <laughs> 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 December 30th, 2021, is 3.44 a.m. This is video number three. So those videos, okay, have uploaded. There's no issues now. And this one, I had some problem uploading it. There's no issues. So that's good. So when I finish uh, recording, I'll come back to it. All right, so let's go on Twitter, see what's going on. All right, that was the last tweet that I was sharing with you. All right, let's see here. New tweet. First tweet. All right, let's see here. So when Richard Eden was tweeting recklessly with the hope of endangering Megan's life, all of you KK Kate or Duchess of Cambridge friend thought that was really cute and funny. How about now? Still funny or nah? All right, let's see here. They were praising him for always speaking the truth. Oh, really? I don't follow these guys. I don't follow those royal rats, so I don't know. Really? Wow, there's the laugh, uh, the way they love any shit that confirm their hideous uh, bias. All right, so this is that. When was that? Is that the one that he tweeted? So, no, that's all. Okay, at Richard Eden, dear Richard, this story is untrue and misleading. I will appreciate it if it's taken down. Many thanks. Okay, Ken found Diana Award Hill Toxic Riff of Princess William and Harry. Okay, boy, we'll read Saturday Eden Confidential Social Diary. Okay, I don't know anything about that. What is that? These royal rats have no idea what they are dealing with. They and all that they protect are about to go through something in terms of being dragged on all issues they consider quote private across the four cardinal point of this world. But nah, I truly I've sort of mentioned that on my last video. I truly believe what they want to do is take attention away from um, that, well, it's not really an apology, that statement that they put on um, uh, Daily Fell's front page is to remove uh, uh, focus on it. But if, 
okay there's a possibility in my humble opinion they might have to do it again if the court had agreed for them to write apology to megan because those statements the one on front page and the one on page three did not state any sort of apology okay so there's a possibility it might happen again but this the nonsense that richard eden threw to get people to start talking about uh, prince william's affair it's a distraction away from megan's win okay that's what i think uh, when i finish i think i need to write a, a, a tweet to put out all right let's see here diana's revenge diana's mess with her little baby and his wife then well yeah bah -ha -ha. okay i'm sure they will insulate them with friendly media like people and all the magazine however they can insulate them from the twitter jokes the street will still be talking okay they got hit hit in the throat with <laughs> with that one uno reverse <laughs> real quick <laughs> that's the first time <laughs> that's the first time i come with this this is funny all right let me not laugh they got hit in the throat with that uno reverse real quick <laughs> we know reverse is the best card <laughs> there's the laugh yeah they thought that was so funny they need to read this gif you should have just sat there and ate your food all right they were under that tweet egging him on god is good okay it's kkk for me all right okay, ben told them to watch their twitter mouth <laughs> i love this lol prince uh, prince william affair da 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 kama has no deadline the Aryan duchess kkk -K -K. it's what she deserves okay oh it's backfired really quick these people don't learn remember the focus we're not talking about megan's uh when okay we need to get back to that as well all right we could still put both hashtag on every tweet all right i don't think so somehow uh they think they can just carry on as usual without consequences i kept saying when we were still uh senior pushing back that if only they just leave megan alone we will leave egg alone and ready alone but they never learn all right next tweet okay the british royal family is about to go through something prince william affair prince william prince andrew gisling maswell all right let's hear <laughs> you don't say it. <laughs> okay and i am here for it it's called karma cinema what you do to others must come back to you the energy you give you shall receive guaranteed okay the royal family deserves it karma always appear unexpected lol i feel it in my fingers i feel it in my toes okay karma is a beautiful lady okay they have definitely had better days there's a laugh comma is definitely working overtime this christmas holiday hey prince andrew i hope you're next <laughs> oh my god i bet he's on the phone right now ordering a pizza <laughs> whoopsie doodle okay that's that yep all right uh it was about time decades of abusing their position to silence people should stop okay there is nothing royal about these drifters nothing all right unstable really has been running while he's had help from mama meadow and the uncle the one that had something about drugs and the background and all his racist friends and high places as well as some that work for him unstable will has been busy he's done all that and still plays with wolves what a glorious day we need to be ready for their american tour prince william affair okay i hope so will started it actually charles and granny were complicit in the attack on megan william and kate queen elizabeth Chaz are all to blame unstable willie has been doing too much he's been abusing megan trying to destroy harry and uh, all while charles queen elizabeth have set back and done nothing yeah because what they were trying the other ones were trying to they all were benefiting on um the bashing of megan because they didn't want to talk about uh for the queen it was about uh, andrew they she didn't want people to talk about it so any focus on megan it was fine by her and then the harry william had his own agenda charles had his other one so they all crashing at them right? they didn't expect harry and megan to let to leave so whatever they get is for their own good next tweet okay when I tell you our faves abandon a sinking ship at the right time. I mean, Professor come out, you know, I haven't seen his tweet lately, but when he comes out, he brings some good things. That is true. Harry and Meghan left the right time. 
I, but I saw this coming miles away. I had a, 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 a screenshot where I have, uh, where is it, the face of the uh, the queen on the dominoes, you know, it started falling. I mean, and plus with our prayers, we're going to make sure to keep praying for the Sussexes. Okay, I love it for them. Thank God they are away and safe and in peace. Look at everything that is going on. You are so right. Just imagine how many buses they've had to throw them under if they were still there. That is true. All right. The powers that be and the universe were looking out for them. So happy they are safe and away from that circus. Okay. It's all falling apart, really. Okay. Yes. Did thank God. All right. It's a big way. Okay. God is good. So true, professor. Love that for them. Just in time. I love it. Right. Yep. And this. Okay. Today has been the day that th that fam glad left. Okay. Glad they left. Oh, come on. Today has been that day for that family glad they left and kept it moving when the lord collects granny is going to be chaos over there <laughs> the way she put it when the lord collects granny <laughs> oh my goodness those old people don't want to go they don't want to go only the youngs keeps on going they like to throw the young under the bus. You know why? Because they, those old people have done so many sinful stuff. They don't want to face the Lord. All right. Next week. Y'all come look at this. Okay. United Kingdom trend and possible uh, nothing. What is that? One Prince Andrew. So he's, he's uh, trending too. When was this tweet? December 29th. So that was yesterday. So that was trending yesterday. Prince Andrew questioned accuser Godfrey's ability to pursue sex abuse lawsuit. Uh, uh, uh. Guess what? Now that the daily fell, a couple things that's going on here. Daily fell lost the, uh, the case against Megan. Okay. So now they're going to need some stuff to talk about. And, uh, what is it? What was I thinking? They lost the case, so they can't really talk about uh, Megan. The kind of uh, dirt they were hoping for to put her on the witness stand, they didn't get that. And now Gisling Maxwell just uh, been guilty. So now they're going to be talking about Andrew now. As much as they did their nonsense, they will be talking about Andrew. Because they need some, they need to collect their money. The promise that they, whatever it promised the firm had given Daddy Fell. Okay? They didn't get that. But guess what? The other thing is that Daily Fell is no longer a, a public uh, trading kind of thing. It's uh, from what I saw. I don't know when that video come. Uh, they're not trading in the stock market or something like that. All right? So they are now private. Their stockholders, their shareholders cannot tell them what to do. So they are now private. They could do as they please with whatever stories they want to put out. So... <laughs> things is gonna get worse okay the royal family are going through big crap all right and this update prince william affair 61.4 thousand tweet and, and then there's uh, in australia <laughs> prince andrew and the other thing is we need to still talk okay to talk about megan's uh the the thing they fell put on their front page because they really don't want people to talk about that all right because it's a huge humiliation for daily fell so we need to keep that in mind. All right. So that was that. Next tweet. Oh, it looks like I might have to combine the other one. Next tweet is that. I remember Camilla Tomney saying, they, the UK press, can set the tone of a person's reputation. Well, seems like squad can do the same. <laughs> There's that. There's me high-fiving. Oh, boom. Okay. Once upon a time. They abuse toxic practices. It's a new day and squaddies are everywhere. That's fine. Okay. It's what we do. <laughs> I love this guy. Okay. We need to get our royal rat credentials. We're good at spreading the news. Well said. Exactly. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. There's the thinking. Thumbs up. Okay. We started with her and let the world know that is a pathological liar. Okay. There's that. 100%. All right, so that was the last tweet that I have for this video. Looks like I might have to add some more from the other one. It has to do, maybe I, okay, I think what I'm going to do. I'm going to combine another one with that. Okay, something tells me the men in gray suit are not having a good day. Prince William Affair, Prince Andrew. All right, 
uh, a look inside the Buckingham Palace press office right now. There's this, <laughs> what the F? All right, there's me responding here. All right, so we have to keep our self and to uh, remember what, what is going on right now. All right, so this sort of explain what's going on. There's me here. Nah, everything is going according to plan. Prince William was groomed by them. Some probably have the nails. Others may have the hammer. The coffin is hidden. It's just the countdown they are doing right now. Okay? This was all by design. When you look at things specifically, but nobody's going to come in front of you and say, this is what I'm going to do. No, they're not going to tell you this is my plan. You have to read between the lines. And Prince William want people around him to be, yes, yes, yes. He can never be wrong. And then I've said this before. Why did he bring politicians to come and help him with uh, publicity thing? Uh, uh, I don't know, uh, social media things. This is why I told you guys, I truly believe Princess Diana sent Megan for those boys. I know I got some backlash for this. I truly believe this is why Princess Diana sent Megan for those boys. For each one of them for a different reason. But Harry, I mean, William did not see the sign. Harry did. What happened since they bring those uh, politicians to help them? It's domino effect. It's one issue after another. I understand the squad are do, uh, doing their part, you know, protect and defend and all of that. But what's going within the royal family? They just put a, 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 a was it a match there? Or, or they threw gas, let's just say. They threw gas in the royal family. Okay, in the palace, and then someone's gonna come and lit the match, and then that's it. All right, and this guy has no clue. He has absolutely no clue. Why? Because he's laser focused to Megan. And whatever he wants, the people, all right, the people he hired to, uh, to help him is giving him that. And at the same time, they're setting fire. They're giving him the match to self-destruct. All right, so let's read this again. This is the tweet that I bookmark. A look inside the Buckingham Palace press office right now. Okay, Prince William Affair, Prince Andrew. Yeah, like what's going on? Da 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 da. And I was like, nah, mm -mm. Uh, everything is according to plan. Prince William was groomed by them. So some probably have the nails, others have the hammer. The coffin is hidden. It's just a countdown they are doing right now. Yeah. It's just a matter of time, okay? Six people like it. There's this royal family crisis manager when Prince William's affair, Prince William and Prince Andrew are trending on the same day. And the other thing we have to keep in mind, I don't know where I read this. Uh, the queen had, um, uh, how do they call this? Uh, a secretary that has been with her for a very long time, okay? And he's been doing things very good. Andrew and Charles wanted things, certain things, but that secretary, I guess one of the men in gray suit, did not allow the queen to give it to them. So what they did, okay, Andrew and Charles, I don't know if there's somebody else, okay, voted to get that secretary out. So did that specific secretary, I don't know his name or whatever it is, that specific secretary knew how the game worked because ever since he left things haven't been so good all right because these people charles andrew william all of them they want people to say yes 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 to them but the other one the the secretary that was there okay was very calculative no you know if you do this what's gonna happen you know cause and effect this kind of thing if i give you that this is gonna happen if this happened this is you know this kind of thing so they got rid of that guy because this guy was a uh, uh you know loyal that's it he was loyal to the queen so they got rid of him and then this is what happened they put a yes person under that position i don't know who's the person that they replace him with but this is it uh, and then you have that other one, the future future, decided to bring politician in. This is the one thing you should keep away. You don't want these people, those backstabbers, to know how you deal. The minute that happened, me, I'm not even, 
I never well I took one class of political science was it was a one a one o one version you know the introduction of things but not really a fully uh, political science person if I could understand that you know the division that is within the royal family all three household you know now Harry's not there all three household are not functioning in one each one of them are individually they don't know what the other one is doing you think the politician is not going to take advantage of that knowing that you're doing your own thing when the firm should have been one okay it should be the queen first if there's a work that needs to be done and the queen pass it and say oh, i don't want to do this pass it on to charles and then if charles decided not to do it pass it on to william and then if william decided not to do it and this is where harry comes but no each and every one of them are individual so what do you think the politician is gonna do you think they didn't see that they capitalize on it you want yes sir yes i'll give you yes sir and at the same time to destroy yourself all right these people in the business for a long run and then the main goal for those politicians okay is to make sure the monarch don't have a say in the military remember this people i've said this a very long time it's the military this is what they want control of all right i don't know how i get that but when you see this tactical kind of thing is happening that's the only thing i could make of it they do not want the monarch to have a say on the military because these people have special interests around the world around the world you know they are business people the same way that you know they started with america and all of this the settlement and all of this they're not done these are the same group if you look back in um, some of um, uh, uk history some of people obviously you know more than me because it was a, a small group that was preventing those people from doing slavery um uh, out there they you know but they were still trying to practice it all right a very good minded brit were fighting to prevent that from happening but these people they saw money hungry they wanted to do that they want to enslave people all over the world you know uh, plantation and all of that to bring money back in the uk to show people that they have okay to show people that they have so as time passed you know there's some good brits who fought for it to stop the slavery from happening okay so uh new laws you know people were fighting to put new laws to prevent that from happening this and that but now they want to go back to that okay i've been saying this a very long time they wanted to book, break the commonwealth you got uh, barbados out is there another one that came out recently i don't know but i know barbados is out and soon you will see others so they setting the monarch to destroy itself and then once the commonwealth no longer there uh, just look just go look at that video that has the uk flag in it i explain whatever i thought at that moment i still believe it all right so let's see here i wish we knew who these faceless men and gray suits are they have a lot to answer for okay the gray suit was from princess diana's word 26 years later they're still worse to harry's wife very good for all the hell they put megan and earlier diana through i hope they know they are reaping what, what they saw so megan will be in the uk need to know about <laughs> crossing legs showing shoulders not wearing hose black nail polish running for political office made andrew cry closing a car door buying scent candles holding harry's hand okay i hope today was a lesson and quote that ish won't be tolerated anymore <laughs> that's right i replied to someone's tweet saying the same thing this uh, may be the worst day of the year for them and they'll have a lot of bad ones in 20 and 2021 i guess 2022 but uh, the thing is that if uh, this is why they were so upset when Megan tell people to vote so in the U.S. when people vote, all right, when you have a lot of people vote, the Republicans don't win. So this is why they wanted Megan to be quiet. So the you know the orange men to be there and to scratch everything. What just happened to Ghislaine Maxwell? They didn't want that to happen. Okay, so people went out and vote, and then changed the course of things. 
guess what? The U.S. is still being handled on a string because that uh, trapping, okay, of people, politicians, all sort of things. All right? They trap so many of them where they can really uh, govern for the people because they are trapped. Okay? They are trapped. But anyway, I don't want to make too much uh, politics here, but my goodness. All right, where was I? Uh, uh, something tell me, man, I guess. Okay, I see where I was. All right, let's, let me read some of this. They will be pulling the attack Duchess Megan bullshit once again. She is there. Uh, go to distraction, uh, to distraction now. But this is the thing the squad needs to pay attention with. When they throw their nonsense about Megan, find out what is. This is like uh, the shiny object, okay? Megan is the shiny object to uh, change the course, the way to, uh, the squad are going. We need to find out what is the main issue that's going on. For me right now, all right, it's the uh, uh, Mel, uh, Daily Fells, uh uh, statement on the newspaper they're trying people to not talk about it the week is almost done what's today today is the 30th is what 30th it's thursday all right so we have a couple of days until i guess saturday night for it to stop all right for them to remove whatever the uh, statement on the cover is and then on page three so we need to focus on that they don't want people to talk about it and then the Ghislaine maxwell that happened here all right, not Prince William's affair. Prince William, yeah, we could talk about it, but it's the Ghislaine Maxwell. These two things we need to talk about. All right, so, I mean, I, I didn't know these people that much until I started reading more stuff about them, and I was like, I see that tactic. All right, next tweet. All right, so that's what I just did. So I have some more time. Let's add some more things here. Uh, it has to do with Prince William affair. Okay. William's ego means that he needs praise and the only folks out there loudly praising the royal family right now are the right wing traditionalists. They often claim that Meghan has found her way into the culture wars, but William and Kate have as well. Okay, let's see here. The Cambridge Common team are in the bend. They also seem to make poor strategic choices. They seem to go after Meghan Marco when they need cover. Dangerous game. She is popular globally and it's all obvious. They've also split their base and move some people into the world's out camp. Okay, let's see here. So this is a threat. Uh, been following since 2011 and you cannot deny that there has been changes both in their relationship with each other and their relationship with the, the public and their quest to remain relevant they have accepted the right wings mental without really accepting the consequences i'm saying those right wings they'll be with you but you do something to, i don't know i don't know how they operate but they, these people don't think logically all right they're more about some sort of a violence all right say what you want about charles but he has always known what the tabloid and press are william was foolish enough to strike a deal with them he drank his own kool-aid <laughs> all right before megan royal reporters had warned publicly that will was surrounding himself with yes men oh okay i didn't even know that but that's what i've been saying though and we have seen that play out Top advisors willing to help slender Megan Marco without warning will uh, uh, warning will how that might play out. No one apparently able to tell him to get a job. Uh, what is it here? Let me read that again. Before Megan, royal reporters had warned publicly that Will was surrounding himself with yes men, and we have seen that play out. Top advisors willing to help slender Megan Marco without warning will how that might play out. Okay, this is the thing that I've been saying. All right, they'll be more than happy to tell uh, to do your your deed, your dirty deed for you. But at the same time, they're putting you in a situation uh, of self destruct. So I was right. I didn't even know. Well, I don't know. I, I don't know how she comes about. But me, I was talking in my humble opinion. But anyway, let's see here. White man conspiracy theorist. Too. All right, let's go to the next tweet. There's no comment except for that one. Okay, the same people who believe everything print in the UK tabloid about Meghan Markle, regardless of how ridiculous the story now are, insisting that unless there is video evidence of Prince William affair, they refuse to entertain the idea. Wonder what's up with the double standard. All right, let's see here. 
<laughs> this I was having fun with it. I was thinking of what William said about the African, the, the continent itself as a whole, and uh, him having extramarital affair. All right? But I sort of put it in simple term here. Well, they'll believe it when a continent full of lookalike kids call one man Papa. <laughs> That was my answer to that. I was just having fun with this one. Let's see that people are laughing. <laughs> well, they'll believe it when the continent full of lookalike kids call one man Papa. <laughs> okay, same type refused to believe about Charles and Camilla till tampon tapes come out. Okay, the Grand Wizard is said to be an adulterer by those running in his circle and they can't deal. They can't deal. Okay, isn't there photo and video evidence of him all over some uh, some woman in a nightclub while married to Kate? Okay, more than once. <laughs> oh, really? I only know one. Okay, mighty suspicious. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Look at that. I I'm looking at it and I'm like, my goodness, this guy, he was much older. He should have learned from Princess Diana, his own mother. But then again, he came out and called her paranoid. Make a, f a press conference. Can you imagine that? Make a f press conference to talk, ab to talk about his mother. Shameful. And this is where I said, I think, whatever Diana was uh, protecting him, all right, it's all gone. Diana turned her back. All right? And then you have, uh, may he rest in peace, and Princess Diana too, uh, uh, Desmond Tutu, okay, who, who, who just died, all right, just uh, bring some word from the physical world to the spiritual world to princess diana to let her know exactly how he see it going on in the physical world how he just left because you know they, i don't know where i read this uh they say something like when someone just died uh was it princess diana oh shit was it princess diana who said that when someone just died you could just stay around the body and talk to them or something like that they will the spiritual world oh my god shit Oh, a chill coming down my, my spine because I, oh, I don't know why I'm feeling that chillness. But anyway, I think it was Princess Diana um, who, uh, who uh, was it that, uh, uh, oh my God, who said like when someone just died, if you stay around and talk to them, they, uh, they haven't le leave the, the body yet. Their spirit haven't left yet. So if you talk to them and let them, you know, whatever it is that you're thinking or feeling, all right, they'll take it with them. So I truly believe that the minute he died, I said this. I believe he took uh, Desmond Tutu, uh, what's uh, his uh, position again? Um, Desmond Tutu left, okay, and took along with him what he knows of Harry and his new family, that he left the, the firm, okay, he's happy now with his new daughter, and then again, and when you see all those stars are connected, this is another thing too. I know this is crazy, okay? You guys could come out and say, I'm crazy. I, 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 could, I could understand it. But for some reason, I believe that, okay? My craziness, I'm sharing it with you. The day that he died. That's when the uh, Daddy Fell put that statement about Megan court case that Megan won, okay? That's the day he died. And then you have little bit Diana who born okay so harry's family is complete and then at the day that he died and he's leaving these are information he's gonna take to princess diana and said this is where your uh, younger son is this is what happened and his wife just won and then there's a a, a case that is pending you know because harry has a, a case against uh, one of those uh, tabloids still all right, regarding the phone hacking. So those information are going up there to Princess Diana to continue the defense, the protection. And then I truly believe after William came out and made that press conference for the world to know, for the world to know, he called her paranoid. Princess Diana was like, that's it. I'm done. I am done with you. Some people was like, oh, why would Princess Diana send Megan? Uh, Harry just went on a date. And that, 
but sometimes the spiritual world is talking to us we don't see it we are so focused on so many other things we don't see what is being uh, what the the spiritual world is telling us is guiding us to okay princess diana saw the quality of megan ah, in the name out of so many other places harry be traveling megan was the one not only loves him for who he is and megan didn't even know how the tabloid in the uk work all right and then she's good on social media and the other one wanted to be popular okay that's the other brother and all of that i said in many shape or form ig account that uh, megan had before meeting uh, harry the tig the, all this stuff that megan was doing before mary and to war family okay these are the things that she could have helped william with if she didn't know, let's say if someone was helping her with her profile thing on social media, guess what? Megan is not selfish. Megan will call that same person and say, come help William the same way you helped me. But he didn't see that. What did he bring? What did William bring? With his evil mind, unable to see clearly and logically, he bring politician. Politician should be the people he keep distance because of his position. His position is to be the head of the army. Okay? He's going to be the commander-in-chief of the freaking army. Why would you bring politician in that? Your, uh, your perspective of war should be your own, not politician who's trying to cater to people. All right? Because you're the head of the country. You're going to be, presumably, you're going to be future king. You have to think of a logical way to be remain in the country. Once they throw you out, I've said this before, where is he going to go? History have told us once a country is in revolt of your position, he should have learned from his grandfather, Prince Philip. All right. With that being said, let me leave this topic alone. Ah, I know. Uh, you guys could come out. Uh, may... Uh, Desmond Tutu, rest in peace, and may the information he bring to Princess Diana hold dear to them. And that now we have more angels in heaven for Harry and Meghan and the Sussex family. All right, more protection for them because uh, Harry needs it because what he just got out of, it's unbelievable. All right, next tweet. Okay, I'm no conspiracy theorist. Okay, a little bit. But when Twitter UK start removing trending hashtags, it just makes me think that things are true and comment teams are making ill advice moves that shout there is definitely fire here and not just smoke. <laughs> That's me putting this. That's supposed to be the tower, you know? There's fire going on. They're trying to put the fire out. Whatever is going on, they know the, the, the end is near. Let's see here. Hope that Kensington Royal comes knows how this latest eruption started uh the media reps and royal rats do too much and receive pushback prince william affair all right this is how it all started i have this and some of my videos either in yesterday and also some of my today's video all right that's um alex deputy editor of race baiting newspaper trying to advert attention from the huge loss in the court okay he got that there's the loss in the court to divert attention this is it he's right also, I rather the media just named Prince William as the person in question instead of, <laughs> you could read that, uh, footing about it like they did his affair with Ro the Rose Lacey. Okay, I genuinely worry that Prince Harry and Meghan's criticism, that was the, the tweet that got uh, erupted the squad, all right, that Richard Eden here. I genuinely worry that Prince Harry and Meghan's criticism of unnamed racist royal has increased the danger of attack on the all right this is why i think they daily fell literally sent richard aden to do this all right just put harry and megan's name there and then to you know lose focus and this is why this guy is saying the huge loss in court all right they send this guy to mention megan's name to start the fire and then this guy come along and put Prince William and then the squad forget the hashtag of uh, Megan one. All right. So it's all by design. All right. The real FOKP Daddy Fell should not have sent their mascot Eden out to endanger Harry and Megan, their children's life. They should mind their business and the UK and leave the people living in Monticello alone. Okay. If true, it will be better if he just come out and own it now. Yeah, that's it. 
yeah he's fighting a losing battle totally agree with you put a man's head on his shoulder and on it yep uh, and guess what <laughs> they'll start talking about the kids you better own it just come i mean if you're willing to go and sleep around own it and then your wife is there uh, uh skinny him herself out uh, of it. oh my god but anyway let's see here what hashtag has removed let's see here okay let's see here uh prince william affair prince william affair is there it's trending number four all right wow okay chill was bushes or the thing prince william affair <laughs> all right different link shame on you pure censorship shame on you okay a rumor that requires lawyers to defend someone's cough okay human's right there's a bowling eye prince william affair <laughs> there's an eye there oh my god <laughs> oh my goodness the the uh edit and this is ridiculous there's an eye right in the bush Okay, the entire forest is on fire and there's choke uh, inducing smoke everywhere. Prince William Affair, definitely. Okay, just look this uh, screenshot now. I wonder if Twitter is showing the trend only here in the US where Twitter UK has no clout. Okay, from, okay I did send my uh, thing here. Okay, Prince William Affair, there it is. Yeah, former Senator uh, Majority Leader Harry Reid dies. Yeah, I saw it the minute it came out yesterday okay allegedly he has moved then just a rose bush on the side all right it seems like there is a five alarm fire and someone rose bushes okay more cynical i will have said all right let's go to the next tweet 40 minutes so maybe i don't have oh the gizlame as well thing is next let's do finish quick all right prince william affair like father like son there's another one here all right i read this in video one okay you know what uh, there's the exclusive lawyers for Prince William are scrambling to suppress report of his affair claiming publication or violating his human right. There's that. Okay, for those of us involved in Norfolk's dodging circle, this isn't a surprise. He's, the, okay, he's there at least three times a week. He wears a mask, but we all know who he is. All right, so people know about it, but they just don't want it to be printed. That's the only thing they don't like, for it to be printed. So when people in the future are doing research, oh what about uh william and for this don't pop up in their search all right that's all all right now i know why they were so pissed when harry said quote i am my mother's son and quote on archwell there's a laugh <laughs> that all right next tweet i have what four more for this video and i was gonna uh make this into two different separate videos but all right Prince William to the Richard Eden this morning. What are you? <laughs> An idiot sandwich. Nah, I think he did uh, his tweet by design. I think he did it by design. He knew what he was doing to take attention away from uh, Daily Fell's uh, publication of uh, Megan's uh, court case. That's all it was. Laughing my ass off. There's this. Okay, Eden and Levine should have kept their mouth shut. They will learn eventually. Did Levine weigh in? I have her blocked, so uh, miss that. Okay, there's a laugh. I'm sure his bosses at the fair are not are not happy with him either. And nah, they're okay with it. I think they're okay with it. They just don't want people to talk about their loss because that loss that they just did here is a huge embarrassing for them. All right, they said go talk about Prince William because he's the one who um, who promised us Megan will not. Uh, what is it? Uh, allegedly okay allegedly uh who promised them that uh, megan will not fight back little did they know <laughs> megan leave everything behind and f uh, did exactly what she feel was right that's to defend herself next tweet i mean how the hell are you telling someone uh not to talk and then all this thing is happening and she will not be fighting back it's like tying somebody's hand behind their back and then you're punching them uh, she break free and say f you all all right <laughs> allegedly <laughs> that's I said that as if this is what Megan said. Uh, Megan didn't say such a thing, but the percept perception of things, this is how I see it. All right, next tweet. Not you're having him trending. Let's laugh. Okay, this is the one that I saw, and then I started uh, uh, tweeting about that uh, he's not having a good day and uh, stuff like that. All right, Scottish independence, trending with Scottish Republic, UK national news trending. Okay, Prince William. Yep, he's trending over there too okay the affair tag was trending until twitter removed it oh so other people are talking about it okay wow 
we were minding our business and they came for our girl they will find out real quick that we are done being silent bystander in the face of abuse okay they understood the assignment uh, the assignment we need to keep talking about is that megan one that's what we need to get back on every tweet that we do either with prince williams affair gizley maxwell prince andrew put the hashtag of megan as well megan one okay so the royals have a global hashtag to compete with covid prince william affair like a pandemic the sun never set on british exploitation <laughs> there's me with love and then the shade the squad just laughing okay uh current moon and the spend doctor department i love comic justice it effortlessly turned into poetic justice megan marco one you see this person got it okay megan marco one we still need to do that hashtag all right so that was that let's see what else good i'm only 44 minutes with this all right there's this i know this is because it's all over my timeline every day it's public record record that william himself went after his sister-in-law i don't know why american media hasn't picked it up maybe because we don't care that much about royal or maybe it's racism uh, why prince william and his right hand right hand man jason kunoff went to court to side with the daily mail against megan and court okay they weren't subpoenaed by the court but the valent the volunteer to help the tabloid win the appeal against his brother's wife prince william's affair all right i'm not gonna play this because uh uh youtube be tagging uh flagging me let's say after they approve it i have to keep on checking go back and then they uh put copyright on my thing uh all right we know about this so maybe i could do it and stop in between let's see here in a long dispute with the mail on sunday over their publication of a letter to her father which she said is private in february 2021 it seemed that the duchess had won tonight at 10 the duchess of sussex launches a scathing attack on the mail on sunday after winning her high court privacy battle what? megan accuses the paper of illegal and dehumanizing practices after a two-year fight over the publication of a letter she wrote to her estranged father so that was after megan won and uh she put that statement and then this is the way they're reporting it you know I, I, shall i even continue this was a case about privacy but the court documents also provided a unique insight into an often confidential practice the briefing of journalists by palace sources i spoke to the duchess's lawyer following the initial judgment you okay this is where uh megan's lawyer is explaining how the uh, the firm was against megan all right and this is why megan had to get someone else to represent her now can you imagine this all right they wanted her to use uh the firm's uh lawyer and then at the same time they were against her can you imagine this you know how this would have been and i don't know if they have double jeopardy in the uk but if megan had done this hired the uh, was it the the firm uh, lawyer and she lost there's no way she could bring this back again and then they will use everything that was said in court against her my goodness, these people are evil. So there's uh, Jenna Afia talking about that. Please explain, what was the significance of the witness statement from Ed Verity, better known as Ted Verity? Ted Verity, the editor of the Mail on Sunday, said in his signed witness statement that um, he had been given information that helped support Associated's case. He said this information came from a senior palace source and he said in his witness statement, this was, quote, not gossip or tittle-tattle. What does that mean? What it means is that a senior figure in the royal household, according to Mel on Sunday, was passing him information. Yeah. Can you imagine that? If Megan had hired a lawyer, it's like, oh, my God. How will I say that? It's like Megan lawyer would have been, okay, if it was the palace lawyer, would have been just sitting around with Daddy Phil, do tactical things okay without megan's um there uh how we how should i present this to her and do this do that so you could do this so you could do that and then when she is in court megan will be like what what are you talking about this and that and, you know they will, all of them will be against her so even though the uh, megan has her lawyer there 
it will be Megan against all of them. Her own lawyer, Lady Fell, and everybody else who's in court. It will be just her by herself. Okay? So she did right from the get-go and said, I don't want your lawyer. I'm going to hire my own. All right? So that's that. Uh, in order to help defeat the Duchess's case. You know? The mirror and the sun. That, that is very cynical of these people. All right, there's me here. I'm guessing the same reason I haven't heard much about Maxwell's trial in the U.S. I don't know. All right, so what was this? I know it's because it's all over my timeline. It's public record that Prince William um, went after his sister. Okay, so that's that. Okay, Prince William and Kate Middleton and their aide Jason Knopf are the instigators of the smear campaign against Meghan. It's sick what they've done uh, to slander her. Okay, well, even though Prince William office team up with the Daily Fell to defeat uh, Meghan's lawsuit, Meghan Markle won. Yeah, we need to keep on doing that. Meghan Markle won. This, we need to keep doing. All right, L let me copy this and do it right now. This is a good one. All right, and I need to be treat the other one. Okay, I don't need all of that. I only did this so I could, I don't have to type. Uh, this could stay there. Uh, this could stay there. Let me copy this to do with the other one as well. We tweeted it. We need to make the uh, Megan Marco one uh, uh, trending again because they're trying to uh, disrupt people from uh, from that. Uh, so let me leave that alone. Oh, there's this as well with that Maxwell thing. I said they're afraid of losing access to the queen, doesn't have much time left, and they want access to the future monarch. <laughs> that's, uh, that's one minute uh, and 19 seconds. Let's right, that's a million. I've had the story for three years. I've had this interview with Virginia Roberts. We would not put it on the air. Um, first of all, I was told, who's Jeffrey Epstein? No one knows who that is. This <laughs> is a stupid story. Uh -huh. um, then the palace found out that we had her whole allegations about prince andrew and threatened us a million different ways and, and when you look the way she talked is the same way that uh, andrew is coming out they don't know uh who virginia Guffrey is they don't know this they don't know that and then all of a sudden and then they start doing the attack huh so the same way andrew started with not knowing Virginia Guffrey, that's the same way they were saying they don't know who Jeffrey Epstein is. And then there's picture all over, all right? Picture all over about them uh, with Jeffrey Epstein and Ghislaine. All right, let's continue. Um, we were so afraid we wouldn't be able to interview Kate First and Will say, that we, that also quashed the story. And then, um, and then Alan Dershowitz was also implicated in because of the planes. She told me everything. She had pictures. She had everything. She was in hiding for 12 years. We convinced her to come out. We convinced her to talk to us. What is it? Uh, what, uh, there was, uh, I probably uh, recorded it, but I haven't edited yet. I came across a tweet where, uh, what is it? The next thing that Prince Andrew Law is trying to throw out is that uh, Virginia Goffrey is not uh, is like out of state kind of a person uh, she doesn't live in the US so she can uh, file the lawsuit and all of that and and that particular tweet uh, I responded and I said look at uh, uh, Johnny Depp he didn't even uh, he's not even living in um, Virginia and uh, the ex-wife doesn't even live in Virginia but if Johnny Depp filed his lawsuit in Virginia because that's where the thing took place so whatever happened in new york if whatever virginia Goffrey said if it's true okay allegedly if it is true so if it took place in new york that's where she's gonna she has to file it and one thing i have to i've been saying it in the united states there is there are two things the u.s don't take very lightly okay that's dogs okay dogs specifically i don't know too much about cats but when it comes to dogs okay and kids look at virginia um gisley maxwell is found guilty i was a little bit afraid with her case because she went uh, uh what is it before the holiday uh, they sort of rest their case and i think that's what uh uh gisley maxwell uh, uh lawyer were trying to capitalize on okay because they wanted to rest the case before the holiday hoping the uh the how do you call this the jurors will be swayed all right to let her go but when it comes to kids people don't the u.s don't mess with that 
U.S. don't mess with that. All right, let's continue reading that. Um, it was unbelievable what we had. Clinton, we had everything. I, I tried for three years to get it on to no avail, and now it's all coming out, and it's like these new revelations, and I freaking had all of it. I, I, I'm just so pissed right now. Like, every day I get more and more pissed because I'm just like, oh, my God. We, it was, um, what, what we had was... Yeah, the, the, the royal family is good at that. Pretend they don't know and everything like that. But the thing is that each time they get them out of their nonsense, they go back and do the same thing again. Can you imagine? This could have squashed a long time ago if they didn't continue their practices. You know? They answered themselves back into it again. I don't know. There's a couple of videos ago I've said uh, the way they're getting these politicians, uh, the royal family and all of these people... It's almost like a uh, Angry Bird movie. There's an Angry Bird movie where uh, the, the Angry Bird were, uh, the bad guy came to their village or something like that. They were having fun, partying and all of that. And then meanwhile, while they were partying, they were uh, stealing their eggs. All right. They were stealing their eggs. That's exactly what's happening right now. All right. They were partying and everything. And meanwhile, what they're doing, they're limiting the, their power. The people who were partying they're limiting their power because they got them and they framed them and all sort of things all right with young kids and all of that let's continue unreal other women backing it up hey yep brad edwards the attorney three years ago saying like aunt uh, like we there will come a day where we will realize jeffrey epstein was the most prolific pedophile this country has ever known wow and i had it all three years ago hmm. all right so that's that let me retweet that with, let's see here. Oh, no, uh, I changed the thing here. Uh, oh, let's do a quick thing. Do I have, I, I know, let, let me, I'm trying not to type too much, but it looks like I have to. Megan Marco one. Let's do okay, and then put this there. Okay, I don't need this. I don't need that. I don't need to hashtag anybody. All right. Oops. All right. Oh, uh, not the. Uh, I don't care about the snake thing, but uh, you know what? Maybe they are. Let's. That's it. All right, let's go to the next tweet. Now, okay, you know what? That was it. That was it with that. All right, William and Harry internalized the trauma of losing their mother very differently. William chose to get the press to hound his pregnant sister-in-law to near suicide in order to take the heat off of his open secret of an affair is truly just disgusting. Okay, other than they are corrupt as F and should be dismantled, I don't care about the royals. All right, there was something here. Okay, we got a lot of shit going on in the U.S., Omicron, and these kids are uh, going back to school next week. I'm telling you, CDC guidelines, Congress acting a right ass, and peaceful employers have a lot of people. I mean, people need to vote. People need to vote, that's all. Okay, let's see here. I says uh, racism plus the palace has so many shipples from the U.K. media who are planted in the U.S. like Foster at CNN. Okay, the, the squad knew about that. All right, I will never look at these people the same. Yeah, I mean, the, the royal family, they put themselves every corner to, you know, so they could rig the system kind of thing. All right, um, let's do this here. Prayer for, let's, okay, prayer for the children, okay? Uh, okay, I'm thinking of Maxwell. Maybe that will be for the next video. Uh, prayer for, uh, what, thanks? Um, what is it? Uh, what just happened? Um, uh, let's say good result. I can't really think um, of the term, but result. I'm thinking more of what happened to Gisley as well. Thank. Okay, prayer for uh, prayer for thanks. Good result. I don't know. It doesn't even make sense to me. But let's see what popped up. I can't word my uh, find the word that I'm looking for, and I'm in a hurry. Let's do okay. Let's do this one. Okay, prayer for those awaiting exam result. Mm. 
uh, I say, give us peace in our heart, our bodies, our mind, our soul, as we await patiently and with confidence knowing that we will emerge victorious. Let worry, fear, and doubt flee at the sound of your great name. Grant us favor, loving Father, and the eyes of the examiners who put our uttermost faith and trust in you. All right, so that's it. Um, I'm going to do one another video. It's probably going to be on Appy Team Sussex. It's about Gisele Maswell. And I'm surprised this last two tweets that I just read should have been a part of the Gisele Maswell thing here. So that's it. Please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share. If you want to help support this channel, there's a PayPal link in the description. You could um, donate. Or if this video have any commercials in it, just watch the videos. That's it. Thank you for your help and your support.